Great. Now we will see how to convert a widget into a component. This part from here. Convert a widget into a component. And we go back to the we go we stay in the same in the same application. And imagine the scenario where you have we you have to reuse something exactly the same element, okay, an email with uh, this pencil and the and the bin in different pages of the of this application or even in different applications. Okay, you could think, oh that's easy. I just come here, right click, copy, and I paste it in all the parts where I need to repeat this uh, this um, this uh, group of widgets because it's a group of widgets. Yeah, and that would work. And that would work, and for it's completely legitimate. Um, but now imagine that you have to change the client tells you oh no i don't like this color i prefer <laughs> a blue color oh <laughs> and then you say right if you have only two three it's not a big deal you go and you change that black color to blue in the two or three parts but what happens if you have this uh, reduce this element in the 20 parts you have to change it 20 times so that becomes a bit of um, unmanageable and um, the right way to do it, to do, to do, to do this, the flutter flow way, it is with something called components, right? What is a component? So we come here to this element, and if we do right click, there is an option that says convert to component. We click here in the convert to component. We are prompted to tell a. Uh, component name, I will call it user item, create component, and now look at this, I have uh, something like a diamond, they use the icon of the diamond to differentiate a component from a page, right? And um, in the home page, instead of that block, that uh, group of uh, widgets, what I have is that diamond, okay? So it's kind of separating the logic, separating the logic that, um, as I said, this only makes sense, the, not, not only, but ideally, it's if uh, you should do use this for really complicated pieces of logic that you want to isolate, or pieces of logic, or, um, or, or UI or visual that will be reused in uh, different parts, right? So, if we click in the, in the component, Look at this, we have some sort of container painted in black, and then it's exactly the same widget elements that we saw before. And we here we have them, and inside it's exactly the same. Okay? But now we have three errors here. Oh Jesus. It says parameter user pass by icon is not properly set. If I click here, um, things are not working because this if you remember this um this component was uh, getting a user object inside the same page but now we have isolated this so all the links have broken have broken and how can we solve this we can solve this through uh doing exactly the same thing that we did in the update video passing data to this component okay so what this what does this component need this component in order to live needs a user object great then we come here to the component and you see here component parameters we click in component parameters we say add a parameter and the parameter will be the user of type document and the collection type of users and we click in create okay now um I go to the home page and uh, what I'll do is that when this is when this um, component is loading if I scroll down I select the component look at this component properties and there is a user uh, property that it's unset okay so I have to pass it how I click and from the user's document that is loading the column look at this I want to pass to this component the document. Great. Now I can work 
from the from the children sorry from the component user item i have access to the user object and now all, the only thing i have to do is change all the references all the links that were previously defined because now the email will not be charged from the from where it was now it will be, it will be loaded from the component parameters from the user object and the property email and now this error you see now one error has disappeared great now we must do the same with the action the action the action of uh, navigation the icon it was passing a user but it was passing it from another place now we have to remove this and pass the parameter but now the parameter will come from the parameter that i'm receiving okay and now you will see here another error disappears this is a bit complex to see at the beginning because you are, what we're doing is we are passing a parameter to the component and the component is passing the, the object to the child page so it's like the same object it's being passed to mm, two times okay is this common well to be honest in an in an uh, application of average difficulty to pass an object two times like, to the to a component and then from the component to another page could happen yeah it's not not so weird more levels it's a bit strange so don't don't freak out this is mm, probably the maximum level of difficulty that we will get um and still we have one error that says that the reference for database is not properly set on icon yeah we we still we have to do the same in the delete document because now you have to find the reference from the component the user and the reference great and now this is all working exactly the same if i click on um if i re uh, retest the application this uh, will work exactly the same and you might think oh jesus i'm not going to go through all this pain and um uh, unnecessarily and i understand and to be honest for your first second third application it's fine it's fine if you don't use it this way but believe me that if you want to go farther um with flutter flow the earlier you adopt the costume of using components wherever they are um suitable the better and easier your life will be <laughs> believe me believe me it will be much easier fine um i will do the same operations and this should work exactly the same but we, because we haven't added any new feature we have just restructured our application to work more um, with to have an architecture more uh, mm, better <laughs> better and more scalable okay you see everything works exactly the same but it's much more um, resistant for and more reusable and easier to work in the future 